So you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I am currently doing my makeup and I'm literally doing this the day of y'all. Let's have a chit chat. Okay, today is gonna be like a, <clears throat> a chit chat and a little bit of a vlog because I just have some things that I need to get off my chest, okay? And um, my bun is coming out. It's a mess right now. But yeah, I got some things I need to get off my chest. So I'm gonna talk to y'all without telling too much because um, I have some videos in the future that I wanna talk to you guys about to like, you know, really let y'all know what's going on. But for now, we're just gonna kind of sugarcoat things um, as much as I can, <laughs> as much as I can. Um, I really don't think that I can, but I just have a lot going on. So I can tell y'all this much. Um, I do plan on moving. Um, I do plan on moving. And I just feel like I'm just to the point where <clears throat> My time here in my hometown is up. Um, I have exceeded my max time and it's time to go. It is time to go. Um, and I just say that because I just feel like I'm stagnant. Like I'm not accomplishing anything here. Um, I'm not really making any money here. And that's partially on my part as well. That is partially on my part. And it's just... Um, it's a lot of things factoring into why I think that I just need to pack my things and go. And so that's what I'm going to do. And today I'm actually supposed to be checking out the town that I'm moving to. Um, so I'm trying to move closer to Atlanta, but the move that I'm doing first is on the outskirts of Atlanta. So I'm going to um, basically try that out first to see if I like it. Um, Atlanta is, downtown Atlanta is about 45 minutes. No, downtown Atlanta is um, like an hour from where I'm going to be living at. And I just feel, I don't, I really don't want to be like downtown Atlanta because it's way too much traffic. It's too much going on. It's uh no <laughs> i know for a fact that is not the spot for me that's not where i want to go so i said that i wanted to be on the outskirts of atlanta but where i'm going to be living first is like on the outskirts of the outskirts of atlanta so it's kind of like the country a little bit um it's one of those little towns so um let me tell y'all how god works let me tell y'all how god works so I literally wrote down everything. I wrote down everything. I talked to the Lord about it before I did it. I asked him to send me signs that this was the right move and whatnot. Um, let me just tell y'all how God worked. So I had already got the job. I had already gotten one job before I decided that I was gonna move. So I applied for the job, I got the job, and I was just like, Lord, if this is if this is meant to be, if this is the right move, like, let me know, I need to sign because I don't wanna make this move without, you know, talking to you first, without, um, you know, without your approval. Like, are you gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this the right move? Are you gonna help me? You know, like, type, type talk. Like, if I'm really gonna do this, Lord, I'm gonna need your help. Um, I'm gonna need you to step in, like, you know, that type of, that type of sit down and talk. So I talked to the Lord about it. We had a really good talk and I asked him to do one thing. I said, Lord, if this is meant to be, and this is really what I'm supposed to do, which I feel like it's what I'm supposed to do because I'm, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. I'm so tired of, um, basically being in and out of depression. I'm tired of questioning everything. I'm tired of job hopping <laughs> and i'm just tired of being around augusta people like i need a new environment i need to meet new people i just need somewhere new somewhere new i need a fresh start and so that's what i'm that's what i plan on doing and that's what i talked to him about and i said lord this is really meant to be then i need a sign like if if um if um so the job that i got 
the money is the money is really decent it's really decent from what i was getting here in my hometown and so that's why i took the job in the first place um because of the money and so i could get back on my feet and so i was like lord if it's meant for me to take this job then send me a sign like it had it literally had nothing to do with the town but at the same time i had already talked to him and let him know that i wanted to move to a new town you know have a fresh start and all that so it was kind of like a package deal but um i said yeah i said lord this is meant to be if i if if you, if i if taking this job is the right move like please send me a sign let me know i, I like i need to know like i was praying day after day and it was one day that I was working in, not working, Lord. I was going into Walmart to get groceries. And at the moment, none of that was on my mind at the moment. I was just in my right mind to just, you know, go get the groceries and hurry up and get back out because Walmart was so packed. But on like in the midst of walking into Walmart, somebody stopped me and was like, didn't you used to work? Because the job that I'm getting in the new city is a job that I had before. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a job that I had before. And so somebody stopped me while I was going in and said, didn't you, he was like, excuse me, didn't you work at so-and-so? I was like, yeah. I was like, I remember you. And then it was like, you still work there? And I was like, nah. And I said, do you still work there? And it was like, nah, I got a new job. You know, that, 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 that. Chopped it up, you know, a couple seconds. And then I went on about my business. And then I didn't realize it until the next day. <laughs> I didn't realize it until the next day that literally that was my sign. Like, it caught me off guard. I didn't expect it. And then literally the person used to work. I mean, it's just, I, it can't be a coincidence. Like I just run into somebody that I used to work with at that particular job, the job that I getting ready to take in the new city. I don't think that was a coincidence. I think that was the Lord speaking. Um, he placed that person right there at the right time. And it just, that was my sign. And so I'm taking it and I'm running with it. And so, um, not only am I going to be working one job, but to get back on my feet, I'm going to be working two jobs. So I got on Indeed and looked for a morning shift job and I applied for the job yesterday, y'all. I applied for the job yesterday. The general manager texted me at like nine o'clock at night. Who was texting at nine o'clock at night? At this time, you know, people are getting ready to go to bed. They're texting me at nine o'clock at night, setting up an interview for the next day. Well, no, setting up an interview. When I told the person that I was going to be coming in today, I need to be doing my makeup. I told the person that I actually, I'm going to be in town today. So, you know, um, we can set up an interview. And she asked me what time, what day and what time. I said, well, I'll be there tomorrow. So um, I'll see you at 2.15. And she was like, okay, sounds great. So the lady let me set up my own interview time. She let me set up my own day and my own interview time. So I just feel like everything is going as planned. Everything is going smoothly. And I feel like that that's nobody but God, because if this wasn't meant to be, I feel like this much would not have been falling into place. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been falling into place. So I am putting, I'm, I'm putting all bets on God right now, literally. I'm putting all bets on God and he going, he's going to have to help me because I don't want to depend on anybody else. This is something that I want to do alone. Um, something that I want to do alone. It's, I honestly think that it's going to bring me peace. I honestly think that this is something that I need to do by myself to just get myself together, get myself back on track. And I'm not going to do that living in Augusta, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get away, get out of my mom's house and be a big girl <laughs> because it's not working out here. It's not working out here. I keep quitting jobs. I'm not in school. Like it's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. And I'm just getting too old. I'll be 25 in December. I'm just, I'm getting too old for this, y'all. I am. The girl is getting too old for the nonsense and I'm just not with it. I'm just to the point where I want to be independent. I want to have my own place. I want to be, you know, making money, doing, making moves and that ain't going to happen here.
And I'm finally coming to the conclusion. And I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm fine with that. If I have to go somewhere else to get what I need, then I will do that. But I'm going to do that with God by my side. And he has to guide me. Because if he's not going to guide me, then it's not going to work. So um, that's where I'm at right now, y'all. So I'm getting ready to go visit. I need to be leaving in about an hour. Um, it's raining outside. It's really nasty. But I figured... Um, but I did my makeup anyway because today is going to be a good day for me. And since today is going to be a good day for me, I at least want to look cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can at least look decent. So, I probably should have turned that light off. But yeah, so I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm, that's pretty much all that I had to talk to you guys about. Um, I think the rest, I'm just going to wait. <laughs> I'm just going to wait because there's some other things that I have on my mind, but I'm not sure I wanna spill the beans on that yet. So, oh man, I, um, Y'all, I'm so happy I took those braids out and your girl got her hair out. I just feel, I feel good. Like I had those braids in for almost a month, y'all. I have never had braids in a hairstyle, period. I have never had a hairstyle for that long. My real hair has never been put up for that long. So I just feel, I just feel really good. And I want to stop by Starbucks to get me a hot drink while I'm taking this two hour and 30 minute ride. So going down there with a beat face a beat face because i want to make a good impression you know what i'm saying a really good impression new people new environments and i just want it to be all good that's all i need to get some more um baking powder because I just do. So my big move will be on October 22nd. Um, I'm really, I'm really, really, really thinking hard about if I want to go down there sooner than that because of just the mess that I got going on right now with some people and y'all, I am not here for it. When I tell y'all, I'm just like fed up. <laughs> I just really want to pack up my stuff and just go. I just want to pack up my stuff and go. But I'm trying to be patient because the set date was October 22nd. And I just, I don't want to go and, you know, with the wrong mindset because somebody pissed me off. And you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just go because of that. But... I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking real heavy on it. I, I really thought about just packing up my stuff now and not coming back. But I said, nah, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> Y'all, it's like once I have my mindset, it's set. Like, it is set. Like, once I just feel like I'm done with certain people, it just... I don't know. I just really don't know, which is why I need to go pray before I just up and make these decisions because that's why I'm in the predicament that I'm in now. It's because I make these decisions and I don't pray about it. 
and then I end up regretting it later. Like, oh, this is flawless. I don't know if y'all are seeing this. The camera don't always show it good enough, but it's 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 giving like it's giving natural, but it's still there. I do think I want to put on a little bit of um blush though, or do I just want to bronze with this <sighs> Juvia's place um bronzer palette that's kind of like yeah it's it's giving fall so i think i'm going to bronze with this just to give me a little bit of color Yeah, this is giving. <laughs> oh, it's giving. And I'm just going to slap some lip gloss on and call it a day. Like, I'm not even doing no mascara. I'm not mascara. I mean, eyeshadow. I don't want to do any eyeshadow. I don't want to do any of that. But I do need to, um, what you call it, my eyebrows. Because they're not coming out far enough for me. So, if you guys are watching this, put something in the comment for me. Comment comment this answer for me. That's what I'm trying to get out. Um is there a fine line between accepting a person for who they are and being disrespected? So, um, like if somebody is doing something that you don't like and you, you express to them over and over again that you don't like it because it's disrespectful to you and that's just something that you know what I'm saying? That's just a type of behavior that I won't, I can't compromise, like I, I won't deal with. Is there a is there a difference between accepting a person for who they are or just, you know, being like just being disrespected? Like I don't if that makes sense. Does that make sense to you? I feel like the people that get it will answer it, and the people that don't just yeah, let's just go on to the next topic. But um, y'all answered that for me because I feel like there's a huge difference. There's a big difference between accepting a person for who they are and behavior that is just plain out disrespectful. That can be changed. So that's just what I think, you know, but who who pays me to think? So anyway... I lied, y'all. I think I am going to use some of this blush to put um, on my eyelid because it matches my bronze that I got going on. I don't know. I just I feel like I'm just doing stuff right now because just because I don't know. I don't know, but it's still cute. Okay, not too much. It's there. I feel like there's enough there. I'm going to have to change this lighting so y'all can see because according to the lighting, I look a mess, but I really don't look a mess. Like, my face is beat. It's definitely beat. Okay, put this away. Okay, so y'all can see it a little bit better in this lighting. I know my mirror is dirty, but... This is how we look today. I think I look really cute. I do. My face is giving what it's supposed to give. So y'all ignore what's in the background. Please ignore what's in the background because my room is a mess. I still haven't even fully moved into this room yet. So it's just, it's all over the place. But anyway, this is what we're rocking today. I got the dirty Air Force Ones on because it's raining outside and I don't want to put on my Ugg boots and I don't have any rain boots. 
because y'all know the uglies get stained when they're wet and i just don't have time um yeah just some comfortable leggings a comfortable sweatshirt because it's it's raining and it's a little cold i think it's only supposed to be in the like 50s or 60s today so um this is what we're rocking today with my little white steve madden bag i wish i would have had a gray purse that really would have just matched the vibe, but I don't. So, um, I really feel like a little naked mole rat with this little, um, little hairstyle because I don't have no hair swinging, but we're getting ready to go because I need to go get a hot drink and get on the road since it's raining. I really want to take my time. So I will probably see you guys in the car. <laughs>